Esane. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cherie Marie. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. And if this is not your first time here, welcome back, sis. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I don't really want to say that at first because I want to let y'all decide. If y'all if y'all like the vlog, then go ahead and do what you do. But for those who do it automatically, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> but anywho, now we got that out the way, right? You guys notice a different background. You notice the blue walls. If you are OG, then you know what these blue are. These blue walls are. And if you're new here, we'll get into that a little later in the vlog. But right now, I literally just woke up. Um, it's Sunday. It is Sunday, June fourteenth, and um, as you guys seen in the title, this is going to be just like a. Um, uh, I would say like this is a, a little vlog. It's not going to be too many days. My last vlog was way too long. It was too many days. I didn't like all that editing. So I'm just going to be um, vlogging today and tomorrow and that's pretty much it. So this is like a Sunday reset type of vlog. I'm going to be I got a couple things on the agenda today. So let's get to today the agenda so for today we are going to the market which i'm about to do now i'm about to get ready to go to the market we're meal prepping i got hella clothes to put away um i gotta do some instagram some tiktok stuff and um i gotta do my hair all types of things pretty much just getting ready for the week um i start a new job tomorrow so there's a lot of things that i gotta talk about this may even be a life update sunday reset type of vlog um because i do want to talk to you guys especially about the blue background the new job um just a whole bunch of things that have been like moving around in my life i want to get you guys caught up on it i have a tendency to post on my short form content and I'm trying to get better with being consistent and posting on my long form, which is my YouTube. Um, but yeah. We're about to go to the market. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all missed a lot in the past like week or so. Your girl then cut her hair, honey. <laughs> if you, oh God, I just did the EK. I just did the e-cane. I don't want that to take over my life. The, if you're not on TikTok, then you don't know who e-cane is. But if you are on TikTok, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I cut my hair the other day. And I actually, um, if you're following me on Instagram or TikTok, I have posted like my little transitional video. I actually posted it here too on my shorts. So if you are on my shorts, um, then you definitely seen it here as well. Shorts only allow you to take to, to record up to 60 minutes. So a lot of my content is like over 60 minutes. So it'll be on my Instagram or on my TikTok. But I try to make 60 second videos so I can also put them here on my shorts because I know some people don't have Instagram um, or TikTok. But I absolutely love my cut. I love how it came out. I did it myself. Um, if you guys want to know how I do my pixie cut, I'll definitely put it like up here. I think if you're watching on, um, if you're watching on a desktop, you'll be able to see it. But if you're on a cell phone, you probably won't be able to see it. So I'll probably put the link to that video in the description or I'll make it the next video after this so that when this video is over it'll it'll prompt you to click that video so that you guys can see how I do my pixie cut at home but yeah so I'm about to just put on a little bit of light makeup um oh, I'm just using a way I'm just using the way uh what is this the way hair oil 
just to give my baby some shine. I don't want to put too much oil in it because I do have to curl it later. I do have to curl it later to get it ready for work tomorrow. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about what is really going on. Um, I just wanted to come in and just, you know, say hey to you guys and let you guys know what we're doing in this vlog. Pretty much a Sunday reset. And again, like I said, a life update. So we're getting back on meal prep um, because all that unbigging my back I did in the beginning of the year is over and I gained all my weight back and I'm not happy about it. I gained my weight back. Um, my body feels heavy. I feel out of shape and I don't like that for me. So... Um, I'm definitely going back to meal prepping, especially because I start my new job this week and um, I want to be more food cautious while I'm working again because I gained a lot of weight last time I was working because I was eating Chipotle every day and KFC and just all types of food all the time and I gained a lot of weight um, when I worked last time and so and I'm trying to save money too. I'm trying to save a little bit of coin. So, meal prepping is going to help me save a couple coin <laughs> and help me gain weight at the same time. Like, I had made a post on Instagram about how I ordered these dresses from Timu. I think I told you on the last vlog. I had ordered these dresses from Timu. And um, the one I said looked like a church lady. Everybody loved that one. Everybody loved that dress. I'll put it right here. But everybody loves that dress. And I, I feel like after I posted the video, I was like, oh, you know what? This dress is kind of cute. I think I do like it, you know? Like, this dress is kind of cute. Um, But the video was basically saying how I gained all my weight back. And how I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. And I got to do something about it. And everybody was just basically like, oh, you look so good. You look so good. And even though I appreciate people's comments telling me that, you know, I still look good and stuff like that. People have to understand, like, just because I look good does not mean that I'm healthy. Like, I want to be healthy. Like, the way that my body feels. Like, the way my bones be hurting and all the things like that. It's not good. And that's why I want to get. A hold of my health like I just want to be I know I said this before on my page but I just want to be the most healthiest happiest version of myself and I feel like I deserve to see what my body will look like at its best because I don't think I've ever seen my body look its best from being a teen mom to being, you know, to being a teen mom and all the things. So, um, I just want to see my body look the best. But again, we'll talk about that more a little later. But I don't want to talk too much because my last intro was like 10 minutes long and I don't want to talk you guys' heads off. So, I'm about to do a little quick little light beat real quick and then I'm about to head to the market. So, I'll see you guys um, probably once I go to the market. All right, y'all, so I'm about to go to the market. So I just wanted to give y'all a little OOTD. It ain't really much, child. It's just a little something. I'm just trying to make sure that I look like, just trying to make it, make sure I look like, oh, why is it not focusing? Focus, focus on me. I'm just trying to make sure I look like something before I go outside. So I just got this bodysuit on that I got from TikTok shop. And I just got one of these like little uh, sandals. I need my toes done and I don't care. I'm going with my feet out because I'm not wearing sneakers and be hot for nobody. Hey baby. Um no kisses? No. No. Oh okay. Alright, whatever. Um I got on my little faux Telfar. Well no, it's not a Telfar. It's a faux the tote bag. I got this from the hair store child. And I just got my little dainty jewelry on from TikTok shop. And I'm trying to bake. If I want to wear these, 
Um, these are the, um, I think they're like Balenciaga dupes. I'm Y'all should know me by now that I'm a dupe girl. So I think these are the Balenciaga dupes. I think they're Balenciaga. Let me see. Is it Balenciaga or Bottega? I think it's Balenciaga, but I got these from Amazon. I'll put the link in my uh, description to my Amazon storefront. I got these from my Amazon storefront. But I'm trying to debate if I want to wear my glasses. Glasses or no glasses? I think glasses is giving like auntie vibes. And I think if I take the glasses off, I feel like the glasses elevate the outfit too much. So I feel like if I'm just going to the market, I think I'm just going to just rock out with my little beat. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just rock out with the beat. But alright y'all, so I'm definitely way, way, way behind schedule. I would have been at the market by now on my way back home. So I'm like literally rushing out of here because I'm behind my own schedule. So I'll see you guys at the market. Alright, so I'm at the market. I decided to go to Aldi's because when I meal prep, Aldi's prices is the best prices. Like, I got a whole cart full of food here. Got a whole cart full of food. So I'm getting stuff for meal prep for myself, but I'm also getting like food for the house. So if you see some stuff in the cart that don't belong, it ain't for me, it's for people in the house. Um, but yeah, I'm so proud of myself for being more efficient and like making a list because I usually just come in here and try to use my dome, but I'm trying to get better with that. I don't want to do that anymore, so. I'm just trying to get better with better planning and preparing things in my life so that life can flow easy. But it's a little bit busy in here, so I don't want to record too much. I just wanted to check in with you guys because I am here at the market. I'm literally almost done my list. I'm almost done my list, and I, I, I feel like I'm going to get everything from here, which I'm pretty excited about because, again, these prices in here are amazing. I didn't even tell y'all that I'm at the market with Yaya. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So everything that I got. I still have to, like I said, I still gotta go to Acme to get a couple of things, but this is everything I got. And make sure you guys are subscribed to Yaya's channel too. Queen Yaya. I'll tag her in the description. But she also got her meal prep stuff for the week. We are trying to, we're trying to unbig these backs again. So last week when I was, when I was editing my vlog, I realized that a lot of my clips was blurry and that's because I didn't have my focus settings on the right way. So this week should be a lot better because I added the focus settings because I was like, every time I kept looking last week, I just kept having to like, oh, I gotta fix my camera, I gotta fix my camera, or whatever, but, yeah. Daughter, cute. You look at any seasoning? I need jerk seasoning, and that's gonna be it. Okay, I was just making sure, because I had picked up more paprika, because we almost out, and I had to pick up some more. Come, come, come. Come, we have that in the house. We have a whole thing of it. Yeah, a little bit less. Last time I fucked with it. It's a little skinny joint. Chopping up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty end up to the sky And I'm away to... Alright y'all, so I just got all this food For $188 that's what I'm talking about. If you ain't shopping at all these, then what are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing if you're not shopping at all these? Live like a dealer. Take her higher. Higher. Fly out the valley and the fire. Take her Running, 
Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is what we come in. Alright, so I am back from the market. I went to Acme. I had went to Acme to get things that Audis didn't have because a lot of times Audis don't have everything you need. Um but you could get a lot of stuff from there, but you just can't get everything from there. So I got some stuff from Audi, so and asked me. I just said that twice. But I'm about to put this food away. And then I'ma come I'm um I'm about to put this food away and then I'm going to come back so I can start prepping with you guys. I'm sure you guys want to see that because that's the one thing about this uh, vlog is that we are going to be meal prepping. So I'm pretty sure you guys want to see what I'm making this week. The things I got on the menu this week, I'm so excited for. So I cannot wait to show y'all. But yes, I'm going to put this food away. I'm going to put this food away and then I'm going to come back um, once I... Uh, start preparing the meal prep. All right, y'all. It is much, much later. I had to get me something to eat. Um, I just put all my food away. I got some really, really nice stuff. And I, like I said, I know y'all seen earlier. I got that stuff from Aldi's, and I really am happy. Oh my god, that I didn't spend a lot of money. Um, but I feel so relieved knowing that I took like my time I feel so relieved knowing that I took my time and planned everything out this week and wrote everything down um that really made me happy I do not like this angle or I think I like this better um child the girls is girling okay I cannot wait to lose this weight y'all like vlogging really makes you realize like your imperfections um what's up baby i'll show you my outfit is it on backwards is it turn around that's not an outfit they look like pajamas you put this in my my shirt spin i know why are you wearing like a dress that's how turn around you got it on backwards this is the front this is the front baby oh. <laughs> Cause I'm like, why is it on your neck like that? Huh, turn around. Well, not, well, not, go back and turn it around. Am I on YouTube? If I keep it in there. Oh, gosh. You have to go put the bonnet on. And you wear, this is what you're wearing a dress? Y'all look crazy. <gasps> but I'm gonna just let y'all just, no, because y'all gotta go to the stores with him. So y'all can't be looking too crazy. Deep. Go put on, just go, don't, that's like a dress. Like, go put on shorts and a shirt. Okay. Yeah, because he has to get, he has to get something for her. So, my shirt on backwards. I just told her her shirt was over. Oh my gosh. You got a pocket on your neck, shoulder. <laughs> Alright, so go, go change that around then. That looks fine. It just said it's backwards. And give your bonnet to your sister. Charles. The stuff I have to go through. Y'all have to excuse Kayla's hair. Because I was taking her braids out the other day. And she wanted to take a break. And I never got back to it. I never got back to it child. And so now she looked crazy. And she's about to go to her my mom's house. Because it's her birthday and give her some gifts or whatever so i know she wants to go so i'm gonna let her just go she's got to put a bonnet on because i know she's gonna be sad to not go but i don't want my child to go outside like that i don't want my child to go outside like that so if y'all see my child outside like that just know oh god just know that she needs her hair done no judgment please i, I what did i tell y'all in the last vlog I'm going to be that YouTuber that is giving y'all what y'all looking for. I live in a normal house. I have a normal life. I am a mom. I got kids. None of my vlogs is going to be aesthetically 
I just don't have that life yet. Now, now, <laughs> I will say, once I start getting the coins, my lifestyle is definitely going to change. And I don't know what I'm going to tell y'all about it. I guess I'll be like everybody else that got money and change. But for right now, we rocking together. <laughs> That's how it happened, don't it? That's how it happened. But anywho, um, I'm about to start meal prepping. Um, I wanted to show y'all what I did on my, uh, my iPad. It just got real dark, but I wanted to show y'all what I did on my iPad to make meal prepping easier for me. I went into the, uh, meal ideas and I put meal prep right there. And I just put what I wanted for breakfast. I'm sorry, y'all don't know if you can see. I, I put what I wanted for breakfast, what I want for dinner, um, lunch, and snacks. So because this is my first week back, I just did one line, which is this first week. Every week, I'm going to have something different <clears throat> until I feel like, you know, if I want to fill it all up or if I just want to stick with what, the ones that I have. So now that I know what meals I want to cook, I go into the recipes. So... I found these recipes on TikTok shop. I said TikTok shop, child. So I found the recipes on TikTok and it's just like a recipe log. And so I put frozen breakfast burritos. I went on Google, found the frozen, I mean, found the breakfast burrito. And then I put the ingredients that I seen in the, the TikTok. And I put how many servings, I want to make five. Um, <clears throat> and then reheat. It shows like one minute. So then I just made multiple of pages of that. And then this is for lunch. Um, string beans, rice, and uh, barbecue chicken. So all these meals you guys are going to see me make now. But I'm just showing you guys how I came about everything. And so all the ingredients, how many days, time. Then this is, um, I'm excited for this one. This is the Caribbean bowls. I'm real excited for this. Um... I like getting menus and I got this picture from TikTok so I took a screenshot so I could put it there and see what it looked like but this is going to allow me to have like different variety of different things rather than me just buying basic healthy food and then just trying to make meals out of it so this allows me to know exactly what I'm going to eat like what do I need and then I take all the ingredients from that and I just made a I just made a checklist on my phone <clears throat> so I made a checklist on my phone and it just says um, food list for this week and then the meat, the breakfast, burrito, the each meal has its own food list and I just have checks next to it then snacks and then I also have to shop for the house because the kids and you know they don't eat the things that I eat but I did this today and it really helped me and then also too, once I have all the recipes and everything and I didn't shop, I have this here. So this is breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a meal planner. This is a meal planner section of my planner. And I put week 7.15 to um, 7.19. So this shows me this week, this is what I ate. So it's got Monday, Tuesday, you know, all the days of the week here. And then it says, and I put the names of the meals on top. So Sundays is prep day and then Saturday is a free day. So I may want to cheat that day or whatever. Or I may stick to eat healthy, whatever. It's Saturdays is a free day. But doing this just made it so much easier for me to uh, hold myself accountable. And it was super easy. Hold on, let me turn y'all around. Got to put y'all back up here real quick. Oh, I'm greasy. That was all that sunscreen, child. The lighting right here is trash, but the lighting right here is cool. So I got, I don't know how I'm going to figure this out. I know y'all probably still trying to, I know y'all still waiting for me to tell y'all what's up with these blue walls. Because if you know, you know, the OGs know. OGs tap in. It's like, no. <laughs> oh my God. I'm really turning into E. Kane. I don't like it. I don't like it. But all right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and make this food. So I'm probably going to montage this out. I really don't feel like, you know, y'all know, I don't feel like recording me cook everything so i'll get little clips of me making the meals and then i'll come back once i complete one meal i'll show y'all like me putting it together like now if y'all want a video of like me actually like showing y'all and like showing y'all like what i eat in a day and all that i'll do that but it's gonna be a montage today it's gonna be a montage today 
So I'll be back in a sec. She just wants to go Geneva and she don't like parties neither She loves God and I believe her Couldn't care if she's a cleaner or a daughter or a teacher Don't need no Instagram girl I want a different Alright y'all so I'm so excited Did y'all see that? I made burritos for all week I'm so happy But yeah so you put these in the freezer Why am I y'all natural? I'm always y'all natural You put these in the freezer and when you're ready to eat them in the morning, you put them in the microwave for one minute. I'm just separating these bags. This makes five burritos. Five burritos. And I put them in the freezer. And then in the morning when I'm ready to eat them, I put them in the microwave for one minute. I wrapped them in parchment paper because I've seen on TikTok that because the lady who I got this recipe from, she wrapped it in aluminum foil and people were saying to put it in parchment paper so that you could put the whole thing in the microwave instead of taking it out of the aluminum for you so i love reading the comments but this is going to be breakfast for five days i am so excited i cannot wait to get back on this healthy eating regimen um i didn't even step on the scale this time i just was like you know what i just want to just make it a whole completely different lifestyle whatever comes out of the change of the lifestyle is what um I'm aiming for I'm not worrying about the weight I just want to look at myself and feel like I am happy with how I look and right now I'm not happy with how I look I know a lot of people be like oh but you look so fine you look cool but that's nice but my knees hurt my back hurt when I sit too long in chairs my feet start tangling and child there's a whole list of things that I don't like and I know it's because I'm overweight so I'm actually about to now make my lunch, which is going to be um, chicken breasts with string beans mixed together in like a sugar-free barbecue sauce um, with jasmine rice. So I'm about to make that and I'm just going to montage that out and I'll come back when I'm finished so that you guys can see it. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny No longer blinded I can see I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death 
God, I need you No more walking by the flesh That's when I leave you God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Cali way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. It is much later as you guys see I finished my meal prep and it is now 8 8:59, 9 o'clock so that definitely took longer than I anticipated and by the way I love this lip oil by the lip bar I absolutely love this lip oil um but yeah, but it took longer than expected, but it's my first day, my first time doing it. So I don't want to, you know, I got to, oh, excuse me, give myself some grace. Um, I know the more, the more I do it, I know I'll get faster and better. And that's why I just made a straight montage because I was like focused and I just really wanted to like, you know, get the food done. I kind of like made a little something to eat here. I just took some extra chicken and some extra rice and some of that salsa I made in that Caribbean bowl and then Yana gave me some um sauce that she had created for her meal prep but yeah me and my baby meal prep today it was so good um both of us in the kitchen cooking and stuff it was it was definitely good like my baby went to the market she bought her own food we drove in her car I'm just so proud of my baby I'm so proud of her but we both on this healthy life change together like we always are. Um, but yes, yeah, so tomorrow I start a new job. Um, I don't, I don't think, I told you guys I was meal prepping, but I didn't tell you like for what. So I start my new, oh, and these, my, these glasses right here, these are um, blue lens, blue light lens glasses. I'm in front of my vanities. You can see the lights through my glasses, but I'm sitting in front of my vanity, but these are glasses when I'm editing and like on my phone for a long time. So I'm excited to start my new job tomorrow. Um, I don't think I told you guys that my makeup looked crazy because that my eyes was watering when I was cooking my onions. So my makeup looked crazy, child. Yes, yeah, so I start a new job tomorrow. It's in the same field as what I was doing. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in a sales field, like corporate sales, and I'll be traveling. I have like multiple stores that I'm over that I travel to help them with their sales and things like that. So I'm excited for that. Um, that is um, tomorrow. So I wanted to meal prep for that. <coughs> it's a lot of things going on, y'all. But I'm, we're gonna do a, like a sit down tomorrow. Um, I'm actually about to take this makeup off and um get my clothes ready for tomorrow put my clothes out um I want to I want to curl my hair tonight 
and like I said I want to get in bed at a good time and it is 9 it's 9.02 well 9.03 now ain't this picture so cute y'all my babies so cute um yeah so I'm about to start getting ready to go to bed um I'll I don't I'm probably gonna check back in with y'all in the morning to be completely honest I'm about to relax um I will check in with y'all tomorrow when I'm getting ready for the first day. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'll come back and talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. It is Monday. So you know what that means. Today is Today is the first day of work. I just made me some coffee and I just warmed up one of my breakfast burritos okay and I'm so excited um I just wanted to check in with you guys before I started to do my makeup um it's actually 8 15 I have to get out of here by I would say 9 9 9 15 because the location I have to go to is like um, like 40 minutes away from me. So. The lighting in here is so bad. But, um, yeah, I just have to, all my clothes, I laid all my clothes out last night. Um. I curled my hair last night, so I don't gotta do it today. I'm just gonna do my quick beat. I am not doing my makeup like I work at Ulta. I am doing a very everyday lady beat. I'm not doing a makeup artist beat. <laughs> so I'm about to drink my coffee, eat my breakfast, get dressed, and get out of here. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so so excited. Did I overcook it? Oh, all right, there it go. Yeah, there it go. Well, all right, guys, I'm about to um eat my breakfast real quick and go do my makeup. <clears throat> I'm a grab you guys again when I go back in my room um, to sit at my vanity because I don't want to grab hold all this food and coffee I don't want to drop nothing child one thing I'm trying to get better at is time management because I got up at 7 but I stayed in my bed yeah I stayed in my bed because I don't know I just didn't feel like getting up and now I'm like, maybe I should have got up because now it's like time is just flying. Like, once I got out the bed, I just feel like time is just. I feel like time is flying, child. I'm like, dang. Like, maybe I should have got up earlier. That's why I said, thank God I'm not doing no crazy, crazy beat. I'm just going to do a regular. I call it a regular civilian beat. Because, like, when you're a makeup artist, you always tend to do too much to your hair. And you don't got to do all that. And I'm not doing all that, so. I don't want nobody thinking that. You know why I don't want to do a lot of makeup? Because the days I don't want to do makeup and then I wear my light beat, people look at me like I'm like, what happened to your makeup? And I did that at my last job. So that's why I don't want to do that at this job. I don't want to be putting on too much makeup. But I am going to try to get some of my breakfast burrito. It came out so good, y'all. It came out so good. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of me and my daughter for meal prepping yesterday. I really am. Mm. 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 
That's good. I just washed my face and I still got eye boogies. Child. But no, that is good. Mmm. The sausage is so good. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm gonna save so much money. I'm gonna save so much money. But you know what, y'all? While I got y'all here, let me talk to y'all real quick. So, a little life update. So, you guys already know that I'm back working. Um, I had to go back to work because I left Ulta because Ulta was, like, very stressful. Mentally, physically, draining, right? Um, but it doesn't mean that I didn't want to work, period. I did want to be a, a full-time content creator, which I feel like I am a full-time content creator. I feel like I'm a full-time content creator, and I feel like my job is part-time. Even though I have a 9 to 5, I look at my job as a part-time job. Because this is not, you know, um, my, what do you call it? It's not my career. Like, content creation is, not, is my career, not, you know, working. And the last time you guys see me, you guys know that I was living in my other apartment. And you see that I'm not there anymore. I'm actually back at my ex's house. Um, I'm back at my ex's house. Me and my ex have been back together for a while now. I just, of course, didn't say nothing about it. Um, I just didn't say nothing about it because I just wanted, I just wanted to keep that part of my life to myself until me and him, like, you know, made sure that we were in a place that we needed to be in. And if you're OG here, I'm pretty sure you guys are so used to me talking about my ex, how he's my ex and then he's my boo and then he's my ex and then he's my boo and then he's my ex and then he's my boo. And, he's my boo. and I know y'all sick of us. But, um, mm. I'm sorry, y'all, it's so good. But, mm. me, me and Mark has been together for five years, on the off, and all the off times was nothing but growth. Like we break up because we be needing to be better versions of ourselves for us, for our relationship, for our family that we've created. And whenever we break up, it's really us taking time apart to to work on ourselves. Nothing messy, nothing crazy, nothing no cheating, no no, none of the crazy things as to why people break up. It's always growth. Like, we, one of us, or both of us, we gotta grow. And so that's what basically happened recently. We broke up so that um, we could grow, basically. And so we're back together, and it just didn't make sense for us to be living in separate houses, um, especially the the level that we're on especially the level that we're on now it didn't make any sense to it didn't it didn't make any sense to live in separate houses um at this level of where we are now um we're definitely locked in um this last separation was like the one that we really 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 needed so that's why you guys see the blue walls. I'm back here. Um, I'm happy that I'm back here. I miss my family. I miss my my bonus children. As you guys seen earlier, my boyfriend's daughter. Um, I miss everybody. So I just wanted to just you know talk about the elephant in the room that I'm back with Mark. We've been back together for a while now. We're doing amazing. This is going to be my background. I'm not really going to have 
I'm not really going to have my personal, like my relationship really on the vlogs. Um, because we're still working on us, you know, we're still boyfriend, girlfriend, we're not fiancés, we're not married, so I just don't think it's for me personally. I don't want to bring a boyfriend, you know, around and make that a part of my content. Like, I am a beauty and lifestyle influencer, so I really want to keep it just about me. Like, this is my channel, this is you know, my part of my life. Like, I'm Cherie first before I'm a mom, before I'm a girlfriend, before all the things. So, I want my content to stay about me. You will see my kid peek in and out of there. But as far as, like, vlogging my relationship and things like that, I just personally don't think that I'm ready for that right now. Maybe a little later, but definitely not right now. But, y'all, it is 8.28, and it's my first day at work. I don't want to be late. I still got to eat. I still got to get my coffee and do my little quick little beat. Um, I would love to talk to you guys while I do my makeup, but I don't want to jeopardize being late. So I know I'll just see you guys on the ride. I'll catch you guys when I get in the car and I'll talk to you guys a little bit then. But wish me luck on my first day. I'm so excited to be back in corporate. Um, I love the company that I work with. I love that I get to travel to different stores. I love that I'm over 10 stores. Oh my God, I'm so happy that I'm over 10 stores. Um, and I'm, I'm also working in like another state. So I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, so let me finish eating this breakfast burrito. And I will see you guys in a little bit, okay? Yo. Yo, it is 7.30 at night. When I tell you, I did not come back and talk to you because when I got in the car, I wasn't running late. I was doing good. Because if you know, you know. Um, I was doing good. But then, it was an accident. And it held me up and made me 10 minutes late. I get through the accident. Then I hit traffic. And I was getting later and later. And also, too, I was on the phone on my whole way to work. And I totally forgot I was supposed to check in with you guys. So, that is my bad. Because I was on the phone. So, then I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk to you guys when I um, go to lunch, right? Child, so, my manager who's training me, you know, she wanted to take me to lunch. She wanted to take me to lunch. So I was like, but you know, I'm meal prep. So I was just like, you know, I don't mind going to lunch, but I definitely meal prepped. So we wound up going to like Panera Bread and um, I was able to like bring in, you know, if you ever been to Panera Bread, it's like a little cafe style or like, it's like a little restaurant, I guess. People was in there with their laptops, stuff like that. So we ate there, I heated up my food and went there and ate my lunch and then we were still she was still training me i had to have my laptop and you know got all the work laptop stuff and all that so so today was a crazy day but i am super super grateful because i don't know like i know when, how i felt when i left alta when i left alta it was just like that like i don't get me wrong i always say this i always say this don't get me wrong i love working at alta i love my team i love my boss i love everything about alta it was just for what i want to do in life personally like what i want to do in the life that i want to have it was too stressful it was too stressful it was too on demand it was it required too much of me and i had nothing left for myself my career my family you know, my anxiety was bad because I was really good at what I did. And, you know, they seen me to be like a future GM in the next two to three years. But it's just something that I knew that I had to go. Like if I didn't go when God told me to go, I felt like I would have missed out on everything that I have right now that I was able to achieve since January. Like if you're new here, I quit my job working at Ulta I was a regional regional child which I was a retail sales manager working at Ulta and um I loved my job I worked there for two years but it just once I got promoted to that position I feel like 
the anxiety and stuff started kicking in or whatever like when I, once i realized like one thing about a retail job or corporate period once you show that you are good at what you do it's like they're going to put more on you it's not like you do the best and then that's it and it's done like no every time you show that you can handle something that they throw at you they're going to throw more and i feel like that's what happened with me i was really being an overachiever really just wanting to be the best at my job and really just wanting to do it to my because i do everything 100 i don't do nothing like when i do put my mind on something i do it 110 percent. so it was just like <clears throat> I was putting so much of me into it and it's just like Cherie this is not I was supposed to go to Ulta to get better with makeup to get better with my artistry like you know because I was a makeup artist if you guys don't know I've been a makeup artist since 2016 so you know working at Ulta was supposed to further my craft and give me more knowledge and then I wound up going up the corporate ladder and nobody told me to go go up the corporate ladder and so God had to, God had to grip me and tell me that that wasn't the final step. That was just a lesson. It was just a season. Like the things that I learned at Ulta as far as makeup and my craft and like the operation side and seeing it on a corporate level, I learned a lot. And I also built my resume so I wouldn't be able to get the job that I have now um, if I didn't work at Ulta. So like God's continuously blessing me and working at this job, yes, it's corporate, but I do not have as much responsibilities that I do that I did at Ulta. And the money is still the same. And it's like, I love my job. Um, so far, I'm still in training. So don't quote me, because you never know what I might say in like three months. Um, but <clears throat> but for the most part, it's very flexible. Um, I make my own schedule. I decide what stores I, you know, I visit and things like that. Like the reporting is really light. It's not so much heavy reporting like it was with Ulta. Ulta was so many emails and reports and like you'll be done a whole shift child and you got to send a whole paragraph about the day. Like, can I send this tomorrow? Like, why do I got to send it at the end of the night when I am exhausted? Like the line was down to the salon. Like I'm not trying to, <sighs> anywho. Cause I'm about to go back, child. I'm about to go back, but that job was very stressful. This job is not as stressful, so I can still work on my career while having income and to be able to further that career. Because, child, you gotta have money to make money. Okay, so you gotta have money to make money. But I just heated up my food. But oh, that's what I was saying. I had a good day. Today was a good day at work. That's what I want to say. Getting there was crazy, but it was a good day. Overall, it was a good day. But I'm about to eat my um, I'm about to eat my lunch. Well, my dinner. I ate my lunch at work. So y'all, you know how I said I ate my my meal prep when we had with the Panera bread. But so now, and I ate my snack too. So now, now I'm uh. About to eat my dinner child this is the caribbean bowls that i made last night it got the jerk chicken the pineapples the rice and the salsa um and it smells so good so yeah so i'm about to actually eat this y'all and um i got some other things that i have to do oh that's yaya she just ate her food too tell them how your food was <laughs> so all day <laughs> Our food was busting. So, like, my burrito bowls, y'all seen this morning, like, them Jones was so good. Like, I said, I keep calling the burrito bowl. A I breakfast had. taco. She had burrito bowl. I had a breakfast burrito. That's why. That's where I keep getting the burrito from. I had a breakfast burrito. And that joint was good. My lunch was good. And it was, I like that my lunch was light. Like, it was, like, rice, the chicken, the string beans, and I had my little snack. I don't think I showed y'all my... I think I showed y'all my snack when I went to the market, but... I think I'm going to show y'all better tomorrow when I pack and go to work. I think I'm going to end this vlog party tomorrow. This was really just like a Sunday reset life update. But I feel like if I end it now, I feel like the vlog is going to be too short. So I think I'm just going to take y'all with me again tomorrow. Because um, I feel like I failed this morning. Because I woke up at 7, but I didn't get out the bed until like 8. So tomorrow, if I get up at 7, I have to get up at 7 and like start my day. Because this morning it was not, I didn't like how I left out the house. So 
I'm about to eat this food. And like I said, I'm not coming back tonight, y'all. I got things I got to do. Like, I didn't post on the socials all day today. I got to whip up something real quick and put it out before it gets too late. <clears throat> I got so much content in my phone. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, Instagram, I am Sheree Marie. TikTok, I am Sheree Marie. I post a lot of short form content. Like, I'm trying to commit and be consistent here, but I do post a lot of short form content. But yeah, anywho. I'm about to go to bed. With all that being said, after I do all of this, I'm going to bed. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. I slept so good. I don't know why I always got to tell y'all how I slept when I, when I come on here. I be like, y'all, I slept so good. As you can tell, I slept good because my freaking, I thought I got all my mascara off last night <laughs> when I um, took my makeup off, but it's, oh, I guess I rubbed my eyes in my sleep, so it's still there, so I'm about to get the rest of that off, and I didn't want to get it off when I washed my face this morning, um, just want to just use some micellar water or whatever. But good morning, y'all. Today is day two of the new job. Um, I was supposed to be there at 9. Oh, it's actually... It's 8.27 in the morning. I already ate my breakfast. I already drank my coffee. Um, I did get up today like I said I would. I got up at 7. So I already um, got dressed. I already ate breakfast. I already packed my lunch for the day. So now I just got to put my little... My little one-two on... You know, I call it my civilian, my civilian makeup, <laughs> my everyday, my everyday makeup. Um, ah, that burned a little bit. Ah, did I get something in my eye? OMG, I'm looking in my mirror right here. Yana got me a little mirror from, um, from Five Below and I love it. <sighs> but yeah, so. I think I put too much mice in the water on this one. I gotta get another little pad. I about to die. But um, mm. oh Lord. Oh, I'm proud of myself because I got up. I posted on the socials because I didn't get to post yesterday, and then I had I was telling myself because I be giving myself like anxiety like when I don't post on social media, and I be having to tell myself like it is okay. Like I got so much content in my phone you know and I be like feeling bad you know for not posting but it's like it's okay because sometimes I feel like I post too much on um like Instagram and like TikTok and stuff like that so I was like you know what it's okay let 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 my people get like a day to miss me or something like let them have like a day to miss me and then like I pop out tomorrow which is today so that's what I did and I just posted a um, my favorite lip I posted my favorite lip liners that's what I posted today so I'm like let my girls just have that for today but I'm running on time today we're not late today we're running on time when I tell y'all I love this hairstyle it is so low maintenance like people be like like you know is your hair like high maintenance girl no this is the most low maintenance hairstyle I wear and I absolutely love it like I either curl it at night if I want to I didn't curl it last night because I didn't want to and then I just put it on and I take like a little wide, wide tooth comb in the morning and just comb through it honey she's cute I may curl it again tonight. I may curl it tonight. I don't know. <sighs> I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin and Rich Face Base. Y'all know this is my favorite. It's supposed to feel like 100 degrees a day, y'all. I don't know how to feel about that. It's supposed to feel like 100 degree, degrees. It's supposed to feel like 100 degrees a day. I mean, thank God I do work 
inside and I just have to like walk to my car. I have two stores I have to go to today um, for training. So I'm excited for that. I've been I've been happy too that the stores that they got me going to so far are not far. They're like an hour from my house. Um, but I do know that there there are stores that are further that I've seen on the list. And I guess we'll get to those like later in the week. But for right now, I'm cool with the ones that they've been <laughs> that they've been giving me. I'm this is why I hate wearing mascara. Like it's like the hardest thing to get off, bruh. The hardest thing to get off. But I don't want to wear lashes. Like I don't want to wear I don't want to wear lashes to this job. Like I just feel like I'm not trying to be all like glammed up at this job. I just want to look like a regular a regular girl. I just want like a regular girl. I'm not trying to be all glammed. So that's why I be doing the the bare minimum. But to people who don't wear makeup and they see me with my makeup on, they be like, oh, you look so nice. Your makeup looks so nice. And I be like, what makeup? And I be like, oh, yeah, I do have on concealer. Because <laughs> to me, it's just like, girl, I just got on concealer. Like, what are you talking about? But to somebody who don't wear makeup, they're like, oh, your makeup looks so nice. And I'm like, girl, no, I just got on concealer and blush. Concealer. Concealer and blush. My phone is going crazy because um, my phone going crazy because I just like I said I just posted that um, that reel of my favorite lip liners and everybody's commenting what their favorite one is out of all the ones that I posted. So again, follow me on Instagram. I am Sheree Marie. Same thing on TikTok. I am Sheree Marie. I'm doing my brows because I'm letting that concealer dry down a little bit because the more that it dries down, it gets a little like tacky and it makes it easier for me to blend it and I get the full coverage because I'm only wearing concealer for coverage purposes. I just want to cover like my dark circles and stuff like that. So I'm not trying to like do like a whole beat. I'm just trying to cover my dark circles. This brow is always smelling with the rockets cooking. And this brow is not. I hate it. Like this brow be chilling. And then the other brow just be so excited. And that's fine. Because like I said again. I am not Cherie Marie when I'm at work. I am not a makeup artist when I'm at work. I am Cherie. Sherry to a lot of them. Because. It's Sherry to a lot of them because they don't they don't be calling me Sherry. They be calling me Sherry and I do not be correcting them. I be like that's fine. Like that's my that's my name. I'm crying. My my You're iPad. Me. My iPad thought I said Sherry, but I said Sherry. So I'm crying. Um What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh. Hopefully today go by as fast as yesterday because yesterday went by fast and I loved that for me. <laughs> I absolutely loved that for me yesterday. I was so hyped I had my breakfast burrito today and it was just as good as it was the day before. Child, it was so good. I think I'm going to do my one size today because I feel like I sprayed my face with that hydrating with the new, um, the new Urban Decay, the hydrating child. My face was shiny as crap. I don't know who I thought I was. So I'm just going to use my, my, uh, all nighter because that was crazy. Like, why would I ever, child, why would I ever spray that super dewy foundation on my face? 
I don't know why I would do that. That was crazy talk. Like, for real. All right, I'm gonna start blending this out. But yeah, you guys, I'm so excited. I just wore all black again today. Um, I found out yesterday that I don't have no true, like, dress code. I just have to make sure that I don't look crazy. Um, I just have to make sure that um, I'm not wearing any, like, open toe shoes and, like, no shirts that are, like, offensive, offensive words and stuff like that on it. I can't wear nothing like that. But other than that, I just have to, um, I can wear whatever I want. And, because, again, I don't work for the stores that I go to. I just, I am a supporter of those stores. And I just come in and I help those stores um get credit card sign ups and stuff like that so this post is really this post is really i'm gonna look at it when i'm done because i'm like let me finish my makeup but see i just got rid of a little bit of like hyper pigmentation i be having i don't really be doing too much just a little bit of just a little bit of concealer goes a long way when you're an everyday girly, nothing too much, not too much. But yeah, I was telling uh, Yana yesterday, I was like, yo, I was like, this new position is like, you know, really good. I said, because I love that I don't have to wear uniform but even though like i've been wearing like all black until like um because i just feel like wearing all black is just easy for me i just feel like wearing all black is like i just feel like it's easier for me to just wear all black um than to try to be dirtying up clothes and trying to find outfits to wear and nobody got time for that i don't got time for that and i'm not trying to be doing all this laundry all week neither so I'll just be wearing all black. I still got a bunch of all black clothes from when I worked at Ulta. And I still got a bunch of all black clothes from when I was doing, um, uh, being a makeup artist. So, that's what I will be wearing. Y'all see how that just, like, took away that darkness that was under my eyes? I don't know if you guys could see, but... I don't think I even showed y'all the concealer I was using. Child, I was using... I mean, I use the same thing all the time if you watch my videos. But if you're new here, um, I'm just using the Too, the Too Faced Born This Way. And this is in the color Honey. Mm, my, don't start allergies because yesterday... Yesterday, my allergies were going crazy. Then I'm going going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is in the color Pure Beige. And this is what I just set all the powder with like whatever powder I just put on my face I set it with I mean whatever liquid I put on my face I just set it with the powder so that it won't even though it's like a little bit of makeup I still don't want it to move I want it to stay you know where it's at so but yeah this is my little one too because like I have good skin so when I don't wear makeup my only insecurity is the darkness under my eyes and like the uneven skin tone around my mouth. So that's what I focus on when I do, you know, my no foundation makeup. That's what this is. This is my no foundation makeup. And I bring it down some like to my cheeks. Like I'll bring it down a little bit. And sometimes I like bring it over my nose because my nose sometimes like, like the darkness of my freckles kind of like makes my nose dark and then I'll bring it into like my inner eye because my inner eye right there is dark so I'll bring it in and there yeah I'll bring it in there and sometimes like my inner corner it don't get enough concealer and then I don't want to put too much on there because I feel like when I put too much I feel like my eye starts to water in my inner corner and that'd be the first thing that messed up before I get to set it. So, I don't want to put too much right there. I don't want to put too much. But, ooh. 
but yeah you guys i'm excited um i was going to start the gym this week but i was like you know i don't want to put too much on myself so i feel like i'm going to start the gym next week after i'm kind of like um done with my training i mean i'm not done with my training until the end of the month but I wanted to get a couple of days of work in first, seeing how it is for me getting up. And I've been seeing that, like, I have to go to work, like, 9. So, depending on what store I'm at, I'm probably going to be leaving out, like, 7. Between 7 and 8 o'clock, I'll be leaving out. So, I'm like, do I want to go to the gym at 5 a.m. so that I can... Why I look like this one got more full coverage than that one? Or am I tripping? I don't know, but I'm like, I got to leave out at like five or six to go to the gym. So the day, I feel like the days that I have to be to work at nine, I probably go to the gym at six. And the days I have to, well, depending on how far the gym that I'm going, depending on how far the work site I'm going to is, it determines what time I can get up and go to the gym. That's what I'm trying to say. So... Um, I definitely want to incorporate the gym back into my routine. Y'all know I was a 5 a.m. girly. When I was going to the gym, we was going at 5 a.m. So that's what I want to start doing again. Because I absolutely miss... Even though, I, even though I don't like going to the gym, I love the results that the gym gives me. Oh, this is the uh, Juvia's Place a liquid blush and this is in a color marigold marigold but even though i don't like the gym y'all i love the results honey i love the results <laughs> and i i know that people say that but i can't i can't stay in the gym i be wishing that i could drop my body off at the gym and pick her up when she done i tell people that all the time child and i be dead serious like I will pick her up when she is finished, honey. Let her do her thing and then go pick her up because, oh, this looks like a little bit too much, honey. The one thing about this Juvia's blush, it don't play. It does not play. Sis is pigmented, okay? I'm going to just take my, my uh, powder puff and just kind of try to diffuse it a little bit. I don't need it to be that bright, child. I don't need it to be that bright. Yeah, I'm just going to diffuse it a little bit. Ooh. Child. That's why I should have put my blush on first and then my concealer. Because the blush be doing too much sometimes. Too much sometimes. I don't need it to be too much. I just need a little bit of color just to like make it look like I got a little something on. But I don't need that much. But yeah, so I'm going to start the gym next week. Um, I'm probably going to bring you guys back with me on Saturday when I go back to the market to get the stuff for meal prep for the week. And I'll probably bring y'all with me when I figure out like what I'm going to make for my meal prep. Like how I, I'll probably show you guys how I plan my meal prep. That'll probably be in the next vlog. But I think I'm going to end this vlog here because this vlog was literally only supposed to be like a, you know, a, um, um, Sunday reset, you know, get ready for the week and a life update. And I've already updated y'all on my life. And I already reset it for Sunday. So I feel like this vlog is done. I just wanted to come back on this morning and talk to you guys before I went to work. Um, and then I was gonna just end the vlog out here. Because it's really nothing else to like see. I'm literally just going to be going to work for the rest of the week. Finishing up my training. Um, so what I'm going to do is. I'm going to edit this vlog. And I'm going to try to get this vlog out to you guys. By this Sunday. Because today is Tuesday. So I try to post my vlogs on Sundays. Because I just feel like Sundays is such a YouTube day. Like I just feel like Sundays is such a day. Where you could just you know. Get caught up on your girls on the tube. And. Like, is it just me? Like, Sundays is my day. Like, Sundays is the day where I be like, oh, my girls post. I need to go see my girls. 
Um, but yeah, so Sundays is my day. So I try to post on Sundays when my girls post so that I could also be one of the people that I watch on Sunday. Um, what I gotta do? Oh yeah, my mascara. But I hope I, I hope I covered everything in this vlog. I think I did. I mean, y'all guys know me and Mark is back together. Um, we're living together again. I moved back in. Um, you guys know I just started a new job, which I'm really excited for. Um, I'm just excited to have the extra cash. These past few months has just child living by faith and not by sight. Okay, because if I worried about the things that I could see ha girl that would have been i mean that was hard like i had to just keep saying god, god i trust you lord i trust you lord i trust you because it's not easy when you step out on faith but when god gives you a vision when god tells you to do something you have to do it because if you don't your life is gonna be miserable 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 and so i just kept saying lord i trust you lord i trust you you know, I just had to keep saying, you know, I stepped out on faith. Because that's exactly what I did. Stepped out on faith. And, but the money child. He was, he was providing all of my needs. But I definitely had a lot of wants. And he held on to his promise that he provides, you know, all of my needs. And so, I'm just happy that, you know, he blessed me with this opportunity of this job because now I can get my wants. <laughs> he took care of the needs and now I can get my wants while he still supplies my needs. So I'm happy for that. I'm just using the Fenty uh, Hella Thick Mascara. I had got this when I worked at Ulta. It was like a little, uh, little free sample. They call it gratis. When you work at Ulta, you get gratis. This was the gratis I had got. But yeah, yo, this is my little one too. And I put my little... Dang, maybe outside. Dang, banging out there, okay? This is my little one too. Concealer. I set it with some pressed powder. I put on blush. Oh, I forgot to set my blush with my powder blush. I got to do that after I do this. Eyeliner, mascara. And then I'm going to put on a little lip liner. And it's going to be done. Oh my God, I hope my allergies don't start up today. Yesterday I was uh, at my job and my allergies was going crazy. I don't know what the heck was going on. But my allergies was through the roof yesterday. Let's put this mirror right here because I feel like going over there I look crazy. So I'm going to put it right here. I don't understand why people honk. Like, I will never understand, like, why people honk the way that they do. Especially if there's a lot of cars outside, like, in a line. And, like, the 10th person that's in the back of the line wants to honk. Like, my mans. Why are you honking? And you all the way back there. I will never understand it. I forgot to put on my blush. This is the Bobby, um, the Bare Minerals blush. It's Bare Minerals and it's in the color Call My Blush. Like Call My Bluff, Call My Blush. All right, I gotta get out of here. Yep, so I just take some powder blush and just go over the liquid blush just to set it. Just to set it so it won't move. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. The time just changed. Oh, we gotta go. It had said, it said, oh my God, I gotta go.
Oh no, I gotta go. I'm glad I got dressed and everything. I already got to throw my sneakers on. Oh my god. Alright y'all, so I love y'all. Thank you for rocking with me for these past couple days. Um, I'm about to head out of here because it says I'm going to get there at 10.02 and I got to be there at 10. And it literally just had me on time and then it just went to an hour and 11 minutes to get there. And it, was, it just said that it was 50 minutes. So I don't know what just happened, but um, I got to go. But I will see you guys later. Mm, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I got a reason to smile.